All right. So we're over here at the Hive Society this morning, and we're going to talk about what is a power hour? What's the benefit of a power hour and why you should be doing more of them than you really think you should. <laughs> so hopefully um, you'll get some benefit out of today's uh, little quick wisdom highlight training here in the Hive Society. So what is a power hour? You know, I really wanted to talk about this because it's important to understand that your business can get away from you if you're not focusing on maintenance, not focusing on, you know, taking care of the little things, not, you know, staying on track with some stuff. And a power hour is a perfect example of a tool that you can use in your business that can help keep you on track, help maintain things and, you know, really support you in moving forward in your business. So I decided today we were going to talk about the power hour. <laughs> So, you know, really, what is it a power hour, right? It's time blocking. It's setting aside some specific time, you know, blocking everything else away from it. Don't accept doing anything else in the middle of it. Don't answer your phone. Don't answer emails. You know, you know, if you're at home working from home, like set your kids up so that they are ready um, to give you that space, whatever. You know, we used to, I used to tell the kids, uh, you know, growing up, I'm like, don't bug me unless your head, you're bleeding from the head, right? <laughs> you know, but I gave them their snacks. I had them set up with movies or games or doing reading or doing something, having dad take them away, you know, whatever that is, right? Going out on a walk. Uh, if you have older kids and you have a swim pool, let them go swim in where the older kids are watching and truly watching, of course, you know, but something that can keep them distracted so that you can really have that focus, right? And so a power hours really is that time blocking. And so how much time, you know, how often should you do a power hour? Well, it just varies. It could be daily. It could be weekly. It could be twice monthly. It could be quarterly at minimum quarterly. Okay. I mean, that's a far stretch, but really, you know, a good, a good way of looking at a power hour is at least once a week, right? Um, because then you're staying on top of stuff on a weekly basis. And then you, that reduces overwhelm and frustration and chaos and, and all of that. So, so, you know, just fit it into your schedule, but put it on your schedule, right? Like schedule it in your calendar and don't let other things now, occasionally something might come up. Maybe you have a opportunity to go speak, to go to a networking event during that time that you did it. If you're going to, take it off your calendar, then put it someplace back on your calendar within a very short period of time. Do not let it get away. And my my thing is, is if you're going to change the power hour, then do it ahead of time. Like in other words, if your power hour is scheduled for Friday at 10 a.m., like these goals, <laughs> these trainings, right? Then what you want to do is then get it done by Thursday, 5 p.m., right? Like have it done ahead of time if you're going to reschedule. That way, you're not pushing it out further because your business really needs you to focus on it sometimes. A power hour is great, right, for um, working on your business versus working in your business. So working in your business is doing the mundane everyday stuff, making sure all the minutia happens. You're like the employee of the business, right? But a power hour works really well when you're really well when you're working on your business. And that is, what do you want to do next? What do you need to catch up on, right? What are, what what do we need to do to make business moving forward, right? Does that make sense for you? So uh, all the, you know, we put off projects all week long, different things come up. Like I said, you know, phone calls, client issues, new clients, onboarding, those kinds of things all come into play throughout the week. And what happens is we will push the, the little things off, right? We push them off until later. Well, the power hour is your later, <laughs> okay? <laughs> So you want to, you know, catch up on some things or take action on some things that you, some projects you haven't been taking action on, right? Uh, it's about increasing your productivity. It's about being better in business, right? And you can apply this. I just want to uh, put it aside. You can apply this into your personal life. Maybe you're doing really great at staying on top of stuff in your business, but your personal life it needs a power hour, right? You need to stop and say, okay, what do I need to tidy up for the, for this hour or this, this time frame, right? So just know sometimes it's, you can use it in your personal area too. If everything, you can do it in both at the same time, right? Simultaneously, like you can use power hours all over the place, right? It, it's up to you. 
if it's it's around getting things done, okay? It's not about procrastinating anymore. It's about doing what is necessary and needed for you in your business and in your life. So how often, you know, power hour, I say power hour means you can do one hour, but not everybody has a full hour. Okay, let's get real. Okay, Not everybody has a full hour. So break it down, do two 30 minute power sessions, right? In a week or every other week, right? Do a 30 minute every other week but put in at least a minimum of 30 minutes. Now, if you're going to do less than an hour, here's here's my little disclaimer. If you're going to do less time than one hour, see, I really want you to create a list of things to do on your power hour. Have a plan on what you're going to do in your power hour. If you have an hour and you haven't put together a plan, you're going to spend at least the first 15 minutes of that figuring out what you want to get done in your power hour, right? So if you can plan ahead, you know, put it in your calendar and in the notes in your calendar, put like the list of things you want to accomplish during that power hour. If you do a 30 minute and you're spending 15 minutes trying to figure it out, then you only have 15 minutes really that you're putting focus on. So that's the little thing that you got to watch if you're going to knock down your power hour time. If you're creating a list of exactly what you want to accomplish during that power hour, then you can do that in a 30 minute session. You can do it in a 15 minute session. You can do, you know, power hour every single day, or you can do a power session is another way that to say it, right? A 15 minute session every single day, catch up on what you needed to catch up from the day before. And then what do you want to accomplish for today? Right? So there's different ways to do it. So utilize it. Find, you know, find that space and put it in your calendar. And here's a little, little tip that I also do is if suddenly you find yourself with 15 minutes of time free, what can you do in 15 minutes? I have a list uh, sometimes, not always, okay, but I'll have a list of what can I do in 15 minutes? And I'll just create that list. And if a 15 minute block shows up, I'm on it, right? I keep that list. I keep that list in my notes in my phone. So I just go right to 15 minutes, right? This is the title of it. And in that 15 minutes, what can I accomplish in 15 minutes, right? It could be returning emails, right? It could be clearing off my desk a little bit. You know, these are things you can put into your power hour or power session, right? What can you do? Clear off your desk, clean, you know, clear out your emails, uh, file paperwork, write emails to uh, clients or write emails to your CRM, you know, preparing for next month's newsletter, blog, ideas, thoughts, tips, whatever that is for you, right? Uh, how about complete what's on your to-do list, right? That that ever, you know, that never-ending to-do list that we all have at certain times, right? How about getting your bills paid? That's a great time to get your bills paid, especially if you struggle sometimes to get your bills paid. Sit down and work on it. And look, one of the things that I did when I was young and, you know, had no money, <laughs> okay, <laughs> when we first started the business is the bills would call come in. I would write the checks for all the bills. I would put them in their envelopes and I would address them and I would not put a stamp on it. What I would do is I would put a date on when I could mail it, right? When it could get paid. So sometimes you just block that time, get all the bills paid, have it in your envelopes, keep it organized, and then put a stamp on it on that date and mail it when you know you have the money that came in. If you get money that came in earlier and you want to mail them all out, then great, you're ahead of the game. But that was one way I kept my bills organized is I you know, just got them all done, had them all sitting in this little, in this little holder, and then I would pull it out, put a stamp on it when that date arrived and I knew that that money was in the bank, right? So I know not everybody's doing checks these days, but maybe you just need to sit down and, you know, do your digital pay your bills, right? I know for me, like, I don't know, every week, <laughs> for me, this is a, a kind of a weekly thing is every week I get onto my, um, my credit card accounts and I just pay them off, right? Like every week I just get on there, get that paid off, right? Because I don't want it to be this large, enormous amount. So, and I do that when I'm laying in bed in the morning, it's quiet. I get on, I spend 10 minutes, pay off all the credit cards, right? Boom, <laughs> pay off all the bill, you know, and that includes our corporate credit cards, our business, you know, our personal credit cards. Like I just get in, oh, got to make a payment, get it done, right? So whatever that is works for you. That's my like power 10 minutes. <laughs> so however that works for you, make it work for you, right? Uh, do video content, right? Sending the, like this for me, this is video content, right? So do that video content during your power hour. Schedule your social media posts during that power hour. 
you know, I use Hootsuite. It's just because it's been around forever and I've had it forever, right? And it, I just schedule it all out. So I don't have to do it every single day and spend so much time on that. I have it scheduled or I have somebody else now scheduling it, right? So set up your programs in your business or what about setting up software pieces that you want to use in your business, but you haven't had time to get all the things needed to set up that software. Perfect time, perfect thing to do in that power hour. So I want to, you know, think about it this way. Okay. <laughs> it kind of sounds bad, but I'm going to say it anyway. All right. If you don't clean your toilet on a regular basis, it gets dirty. If you don't clean up your business on a regular basis, it gets dirty. If you don't clean up your desk on a regular basis, it gets dirty. You see, you see the, see what I'm saying? So often we're like, we're, we're more apt to clean the toilet than we are to clean up our business, to do the maintenance that's necessary than to, you know, clean off our desk, do the maintenance that's necessary. You know, I did a, uh, a little video that's coming out here pretty soon, you know, on, on, are you a pilot, right? Do you pilot here and pilot there and pilot over here too, right? Don't be a pilot, like remove those piles, get that, those things filed and, you know, create a power hour to make it happen. Because when you clean up that maintenance, it reduces the stress, it reduces, you know, it gives you better energy. You have more space to work and be creative and whatever that is for you. So the power hour is meant to keep you on track, to do business maintenance, to, you know, create new things for you and your uh, business. And when you schedule it and you, and you are on purpose about it, it can be a huge asset to productivity and making sure that you're getting in the, the, the money that's necessary to make a profit. Look, you can take a power hour and do sales calls, right? You can do a power hour and respond to emails, you know, send out proposals, do that every single day as a little power session, 15 minutes, send out proposals, right? Send out emails asking for those people who, who you've been referred to, you've been ignoring, you've, you know, been scared or, you know, feel a little uneasy about sales, just get on it and get it done during a power session. So I hope that it's helpful for you to, uh, whoops. So I hope it's helpful for you to see that, um, you know, power hour is important and that everybody needs them, whether it be in business or in our personal lives to get things done. You know, I hope that you can see the value in that. All right. Well, if you have some comments, I would love to see your comments below here in, uh, you know, uh, right below here in the comments below. Thank you, Stephanie. Yes, uh, I, I appreciate that. I know, you know, it's, it's great advice, but until you take action on it, it's not worth anything. So go take action on creating a power hour for yourself and, you know, see what you can do to support other people around you. Like get your family to support you in the power hour. Maybe it's a power session, 15 minutes. Okay, everybody, it's 15 minutes. We're cleaning up, right? Make it fun, make it enjoyable, and most importantly, celebrate it. When you accomplish things, mark things off on your to-do list, when you're like spending 15 minutes or 30 minutes or an hour straight focused on building and doing your business, I want you to celebrate it. So come back here and let me know. Kimberly, I did the power hour. I did a 30 minute session, you know, power session. And I got so much done and I just wanted to celebrate and I would love to celebrate with you. So, all right, y'all have a great week. And I look forward to seeing you next week right here in the Hive Society on our weekly trainings or what I call wisdom highlights. All right, have a great day.